Welcome back, YCN Sports Talk, Jeremy Stout, Brett Franklin, Brett from ESPN Radio, 94.5 FM. Brett, thanks again for joining us, getting some Red Sox talk. Uh, they sit here as we are approaching Memorial Day weekend, still 10 days away or so, but there are a few games above 500, not exactly what we expected to see. A lot of time left, some guys have been banged up, healthy, hurt. Drew Pomerantz, let's start right there with the pitching staff. That seems to be the biggest hole right now. Pomerantz says he's going to be okay. He's going to pitch. What can we expect out of this guy, though? He's only pitched six innings, I think, a couple times this year. I really don't know what to expect. I think uh, I know that's kind of a cop-out answer there, but you don't know with a guy who's constantly injured. Uh, you traded him uh, or you got him from a trade from San Diego where the team hid the medical report right. and he was injured and they had a chance to swap that pick out or swap that trade back. They didn't. So it's, it's almost like continuing this narrative, Jeremy, where the Red Sox are, you know, picking up guys that are just injury plagued. You look at Tyler Thornburg out of the bullpen, Carson Smith out of the bullpen. Yep. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, Drew Pomerantz now who's banged up and obviously David Price, who we'll get into later on. Um, but if you're Dave Dombrowski, I mean, you know, there's got to be some questions amongst the fans that, you know, th and these are guys that have had injury problems, like right. the history of injury right. problems. Right, it's not as if they just cropped up. Right, so uh, my big concern is, you know, he is going to make a start, but we've seen this approach before. The Red Sox tell us it's all roses and, and you know, and unicorns. Doesn't work. And, yeah, exactly. And like then we, it just never works out that way. So um, I'm... Again, I, I don't know what to expect at this point. You just hope he goes out and makes a, a quality start. Right. Next time at out. this point, you just need, and I was talking to you the other day on your show, you just need bodies to get into the rotation. Because at this point, obviously, Price still not ready. They say maybe coming up next week, they've got Hector Velasquez starting on Thursday. I want to go back to the thing you mentioned about the Pomerantz trade, and they could have rescinded the trade once they found out the injury. Do you believe Dombrowski, or do you buy into the fact that he said, well, we weren't going to do it because we needed a pitcher last year. So by the time they found it out, it was later in the season and they could have traded him back, but that wouldn't have helped the season in 2016. Do you buy into that or do you think that he should have still gone and done it and said, well, this season we weren't going to win anything anyway, so let's go back? You know, I'm not trying to defend him. I'm yeah. just saying it was kind of caught in a rock in a hard place. Yeah, no, you're right. And when you're in Boston, you know, everybody wants you to make that move, especially if you're in the chase for a pennant, which they were at right. one point last year. I mean, hindsight's 2020. They got swept by the Indians, and it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't even close uh, right. looking at that series. But, yeah, you know, did, did Drew Pomerantz really make a difference last year well, in, right. in your, in your exactly opinion? I mean, no. I, I thought they could have done what they did without him last right. year. So, well, yeah. uh, you know, and, and whether or not the prospect they gave up, you know, whatever he turns out to be. I mean, that's a whole nother point. But, you know, when you ha when when the other team sends you a pitcher and Major League Baseball punishes them right. for lying about it, and then you say, well, we'll still take them, and then you have what you have now, you can't be surprised. Okay, so that gets into my next question, and, and we've talked about it. What does this team need? They clearly need a lot, and, and I don't want to overstate it because they're only three or four games out of first place. It's not even Memorial Day, but they do need a lot. they got a hole at third base, clearly. They have relief pitching needs because I don't think Thornburg or Smith, I'm not banking on them pitching, and they need starting pitching because clearly from this conversation, you're not banking on Pomerantz. We're probably neither of us are banking on Price being himself. So if you had to judge, do you think Dombrowski can do anything, or does he have anything left to trade? Well, that will, I assume, leading into our next question, which I won't hit on too much here, but I, I don't think they have much to offer, to I mean, be They've quite got a couple honest. guys, Sam Travis, if, but then you want to start giving up everybody. Right. I mean, how much are you going to willing to sacrifice in, in 2017, unless this team really feels that the American League is down and that the, the, they can, you know, another arm or another body is, right. is going to be able to push them over the hump, but... You look at names out there. There's not a lot of guys that, you know, I know Quintana out of He seems out of to be Chicago. the biggest one, but they're not going to give him up for a song. They're going to ask no, you, something. You had to give up Michael Kopech for, for Chris Sale. They're going right. to want another big uh, prospect as well. And, uh, you know, uh, we've seen what they can do with the young talent and what it's developed. Ben Attendee. I know it's a, pa it's a patient process, but I'm not ready to give up the farm for this year. I think that it's good enough with guys healthy right. and who should be out there, they should be able to win it. And they've got a lot of young talent, so we don't want to sell it for, for nothing in the, in the future. Quickly, before we go, how much credit, how much blame Dombrowski? Is he on the hot seat at all? He's gutted the farm system, and fine, he got sale. I'm not saying that's a bad move. Uh, and he's, you know, signed some players. It's just been questionable. And, and they got swept last year. They won the World Series before he came in there. So how much credit or blame is he getting? Is he on a hot seat at all? 
Yeah, I think you have to put it on the GM here. He put the, the team together. If guys are healthy and not performing, then that's one thing. You look at the manager, but uh, going after guys who, again, chronically injured and have a history of injuries, uh, that's a concern. And again, going back to Dombrowski's days in Detroit where they couldn't get a bullpen for five years and right. now yeah. bullpen's pitching well so far, but you're kind of waiting for that other shoe right. to drop. Uh, I think the jury's still out. Yeah, well, hopefully by uh, in a few weeks we'll start rolling here. Long summer, and if the Red Sox are going to uh, flounder around 500, it's not going to be a fun season here in New no. England. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll get into some NFL, do some over-under picks for the season as the win totals have been released. We'll take a break. You're watching YCN Sports Talk.